I wrote that book almost 30 years ago. So my philosophy has changed. Um, and yet, in many ways, that book was about the fundamentals of living a great life, you know, living with a sense of purpose, making a difference in other people's lives, living, living our genius, taking risks, and not losing sight of the things that are most important. And I'm still sharing that message that uh, there are things that are much more important than material things, but there's nothing wrong with material things at all. Of course, the 5 a.m. club, the importance of a morning routine, and millions of people in India have read that book, and they understand the power in this world of so much distraction to get up early and to spend an hour, I call it the victory hour in the book, Spend an hour building your mindset, working on your heart set, developing your health set, and enriching your soul set. Second thing, and I wouldn't call it a life hack, I just call it a, a practice, but I call it the 1991 rule, and a lot of entrepreneurs really love it. But it's the idea for the next 90 days, spend the first 90 minutes of your workday on your single biggest project. And I call this your Project X. And that's the one project that if you bring it out into the world, you'll push your magic into the world and it, it'll be an important project. One I would say is the job of a leader is to grow more leaders. So if you look at the, the companies that are really winning, maybe it's a 50 person company, but it's like the 50 leader company. So grow more leaders. The best leaders are constantly mentoring other leaders. Second thing I would say is the, the bigger the dream, the more important the team. The bigger the dream, the more important the team. So if you look at the great companies, they're excellent at hiring. And you're only as strong as your weakest leader on the team. And then I think the third thing is, you know, always be innovating. Never stop improving. Never take your customers for granted. Always be pushing new levels of magic into the marketplace. Trust your instinct. Your instinct is so much wiser than intellect. A great entrepreneur has to go through 20 years of being an anonymous before they're respected. And so I think it's really important to stay true to your faith and your vision. So the new book comes out in India, April the 9th, and it's called The Wealth Money Can't Buy. The Wealth Money Can't Buy. In society, you'll, you'll probably agree, Priya, but a lot of people think, oh, wealth means money. Wealth means net worth. Wealth means your, your portfolio. But I believe that there are a lot of rich people and money is all they have. And a lot of people in the world, especially a lot of entrepreneurs, have spent the best hours of their finest days chasing money and fame and fortune and realize they don't feel any different at all. It's like that old Zen proverb, wherever you go, there you are. And so is money important? Absolutely. Having said that, money is only one of what I call the eight forms of wealth. So the new book shares this model that I've been teaching to the billionaires and the movement makers I've been mentoring for so many years, and it's called the eight forms of wealth. And so I walk people through the eight different forms of true riches, including growth and adventure and family in craft. And once you get to a very high level on each of these eight forms of wealth, then you get to a place where I think you can really call yourself rich. It comes from doing work that allows you to express your gifts and your talents. A, con a, a happy life comes from a great family foundation. You talk to anyone in their 80s or 90s, and most of them will say, you know, I realize my Having great family relationships, great friendships is incredibly important to a happy life. Health is wealth. Someone once said to me, health is the crown on the well person's head that only the ill person can see. So you want to predict your future, look at your daily habits because your, your life is your days in miniature. And so having really great habits is important to a, a content and peaceful life. And money is also the byproduct from that. Mm -hmm.